Hello, it's me, Connie, again. Okay, so um, I showed this in one of my videos that I had some butterflies cut out and this and that, and they are so stinking cute. Well, I wanted to share, share with you, I had bought these, I forget how long ago. This is a digital, um, I have two of one page because I love this page, um, Artie Mays. Um, I will try and link it below if possible, but this is where I got these butterflies from Artie Mays. This is just a few. I didn't even print all of them. These are some of, um, these are some of these just made bigger. All right. And then bigger. So, so pretty. That is really, really cool. There it is. And then I think there's another. I, I printed these on 80 pound cardstock because I like 80 pound cardstock. I like that. So what I want to do is um, just show you a few things that I did. Um, because um, sometimes I'm going to cut these in half because these are, um, all right. So I love, love these butterflies. Okay. I'm kind of cold y'all. I'm sorry, but I love these butterflies and do I like uh, fussy cutting? No, not always, but I do because I love the full effect of the butterflies. I mean, they're so beautiful. I mean, I really love the butterflies. You know, it's a big deal. You know, I put butterflies just about in everything I do. That's just how it's going to happen. And then I have the little small ones. Okay, let me show you. All right, so um, I have, if you have any butterfly punches. Now, I, I've had these punches. I hate showing you something just in case you can't get it or if you don't have it. But these are uh, Stampin' Up! Uh, butterfly Punches. I've had these forever and ever and ever. But you could probably find um, some punches here and there of some butterflies. But here's what I do. I grab my little punches. I don't know if this is the size I use for this butterfly. Let me just see what it looks like. Let me just see what it looks like before I go and commit to that. Let me see how it fits. Um, probably not. I probably use the small one. And it's going to cut out. Now, do I like the full uh, butterfly? Yes, I do. But look at that. Now watch, I try to center the body in the middle of the body, and then bam, there's this beautiful, now look how much of the butterfly got uh, left behind, right? But look, it's so cute, it's so cute. It is really, really, really sweet. And did you see how long that took me? <laughs> did you see how long that took me? Not very long, and if it's, Oh, that's really cute. There we go. Bam. And I'm okay with losing some of it. You know what I mean? I'm okay with that. I'm going to uh, separate some of this so I can do it. Because, I mean, you know, I... I, um... I sit and I fuss a cut them, too... Because I love the fussy cut as well. Because I don't want to lose the whole butterfly. But when I want to just sit and make some butterflies. There it is. You know what I mean? Because if I don't have time to sit and do that. But, um, but I want to go ahead and get a few done. Look how pretty that is. Can you see that? Oh, that is so pretty. Is so pretty, but um, I just want to get some butterflies cut out, and these are so stinking cute. So, you see what I've done? 
I've sat here and cut out all these butterflies like boom, okay? Now, the smaller ones, it, it's, it really, mm, they're too small, which is fine. I'll cut those out at some point, but this size right here is really perfect. Love that. All right. Now, for the bigger punch, I use, let me cut this. I don't know if it's this one or not. Let me see. Um, yes, that size right there. Um, there, look at that. Look at that. It's got to make sure, some of you bound to have some of these punches, I don't know, but I'm sure you have some punches. You can even lay your die cuts on these. Um, there's butterfly die cuts out there that I know. You could do that, but this is like so easy. Boom, boom, boom. I lost a lot of butterfly, but at the same time, sometimes I want just to hurry up and get some things cut out. And so that's why I do that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I say that a lot, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and do this last one off of this page. Get it lined up. And then bam. There it is. Now, wait a minute. Before, I don't want y'all to think that I don't want to sit and cut out a bunch of butterflies. Because I do. I, um, I will cut them out myself because I love, um, love, love these butterflies. So... I will cut them out as well. FYI. Just FYI. All right. Now, this one cut out a little different at the bottom where these little tails are, but not a big deal. I will just go and kind of cut out and make it a little round so it looks like the other side. There we go. Cut that little tail off. And then look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Love it. And I do fussy cut. I'm just saying. I don't want you to think that I don't do that. Because I want a variety of butterflies. So I have fussy cut a bunch. You know, I like the big ones and... The little ones, I fussy cut all of that. You know what I'm saying? And then some I just punched out. I punched out. So I have a bunch of butterflies on hand. But I do love to um, sit and fussy cut when I just need a little um, headspace to not think of nothing or stress or whatever because honestly this is like makes you feel real good you can grab a bunch of these and fussy cut whenever you're watching a movie or um i hear people do that all the time i cut off the antennas y'all by the way and just do that and in, in that pack, there's also, I will show you some other stuff that's in that pack. Because this ain't all that's in there. <laughs> this is not all. And I don't even think I have everything printed. But I will show you a few things. Okay. So there is that. And um, I usually take my little dauber and do the white edges because I didn't get real close on this one but you know what it's pretty and I'm okay with that so that is how I do some of my butterfly cuts but I want to show you some more of the stuff that's in that um that uh bunch of stuff bunch of stuff in that stuff in that bunch of stuff <laughs> y'all I'm sorry I do have the caffeine in me. Y'all do know, some of you know by now, that me and caffeine will go cray-cray sometimes. I'm just saying. 
So here's some butterflies. I'm going to stick them inside here so they're ready to go. Y'all, I'm, I'm a little bit on cray cray sometimes. This little box, this little box was, you know how you can get some earbuds and this part slides in? Well, I, de I decoupaged both of those, by the way. But um, this way, there's this little thing of butterflies just sitting here ready to go, all um, ready to go. So let me show you um, some, let me get a little sip of the something, something. Oh, that is so good. I like Diet Big Red. I'm just saying. Let me find the butterfly stuff. Here we go. Um, this is all part of that collection, and I don't even think this is all of it. I mean, they, she has some where they're on little yellow uh, paper. You can still fussy cut that out if you so choose, but they're on the singles. You know what I'm saying? They're in here as well. So they come in different sizes. They come like this with bunches and bunches on top of um, little journaling cards. This is perfect for journal journaling cards to put in your... Um, Ooh, look at the yellow. Yellow was my daddy's favorite color. Yellow was my daddy's favorite color. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. So there's that, and here's these bigger ones. So, Artie Mays. Artie Mays in Etsy. Artie Mays in Etsy. See, look at that. So, uh, Go check that out. That is so cool. So that's just a few that I have. So I just kind of wanted to share the butterfly situation with that. And um, why not make a little tag real quick. We can make a little tag using some butterflies. Why not, right? Let me get some uh, paper and some scraps, and let's just make a little something, something. Let's just make a little something, something. Um, I don't know that I want stark white. Let's see if I have a, a cream color. I do, but I also like, um, uh, can I have these butterflies everywhere? Some coffee stain paper. Y'all, I have so many scraps. I don't know what to do. I'm like one of the, I'm lost little goose. I'm a lost little goose. I don't know. Um, let's see. I don't think I need this. Let's see. I have some, um, I have some, um, this is, um, you know what this is. So, let's just do, let's just make a little tag. Why don't we? But I'm going to go ahead and collage it first. On one side, we will collage it together. Won't take but a little minute. We will, um collage a little bit and um, that sort of thing. And we'll just um, make it happen. Let's just make it happen. I didn't plan on doing this part, but why not, right? Whoopsie. There we go. I'm just gonna stick that on there. Just to the edges. Cute, cute. Here's some pretty paper. Pretty paper. Oh, that's pretty. I should have inked it up first before I put it on there, but get some of that stark white off on here. I like that. Uh oh. Ellie! 
Come here, baby. She's a barking. I don't know what she's barking at. There's no telling. What are you barking at, honey? What are you barking at, baby? Look, we could already put that on there, and then I could stick a butterfly on there. Ooh, because there's a big flower right there. I like that. What are you doing, honey? What you doing, honey bunny? What you doing? Oh, look, there's another one with some... Um, what are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come on. Oh, she has to be picked up and loved on. <gasps> you moved it. You moved it. You moved it. You moved it. <laughs> What's the matter, baby? She just wants some love. She just wants some love. Mm -hmm. Okay, get in your little bed. She's so cute. She's my little baby girl. Love my little baby girl. I don't know where the mat's supposed to be since it's been moved. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. I, I don't know, y'all. I'm sorry if it's not straight, but um, that is what it is. So let me um, ink this up a little, and then I will put... Um, put that on there and then we'll put something on the back and we're done. We will do something with it. All right, I'm gonna put that on the uh, very top edge. There we go. And then I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna move this paper out of the way. Then I will put that right there. That's pretty, isn't it? Um, let's see. There we go. Well, so anyway, um, I thought, well, I'm going to show y'all some of the easy ways to cut out some of your um, fussy cut and stuff. If you just need a few small ones or something, if you have any punches, just go crazy with your punches. That is really, really awesome. Really, really pretty. Okay, so there's that side. I wonder if that will fit. Almost. Almost. Um, I like to put something on the back to write on, but let me um, have some wide uh, coffee stain paper somewhere, y'all. What is that? I have no idea what this is, but we're going to stick it on here. We're going to, I'm going to tear the edge off. And tear that edge. And then tear the bottom. My phone is ringing. My phone is ringing. I'm just not going to make this a tag, though, because um, I want to... Uh, oh, that's going to be cute. I want a place to write stuff. And this will be a little tuck. But I didn't get on here with the purposes of making this, but <laughs> I guess we'll do it. I just wanted to show you how to do some butterflies. How fun is that, right? Let's just do... Ooh, look at that side. Ooh, look at that side. Oh, that is so cool. I'm keeping that. I'm not going to get rid of that. Oh, I love that. I sure have, was careful with that because that is so cool. Okay. Should have uh, watched. Ooh, I should have looked at that before I tore it out. That is really neat. I like that. I don't even know what this book is. I need to go through the pages and find some and see if they have any more pictures like that. That is really cool. I went to um, a little resale kind of little thing. And um, I found a book and I don't I don't want to I don't want to cut it up. <laughs> I got it because it's so pretty and now I just like I don't want to cut it. I don't want to cut it. Okay. So on this, I tell you what, I think I just 
I just basically am going to put a little butterfly on there because it is so pretty just like that. I have a little bit of cheesecloth here. Let's just make it a little something something. How's that sound? Better put the lid on that. So these are my scissors to cut fabrics or material or whatever. I need to put a ribbon on it so that um, there's that. Just stick that on there. And then maybe um, an old piece of lace. This is super old. It's a little um, let's see if I can get it like there. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I need a little bit of fabric tack, I suppose. Let me ink this. I didn't mean to go this direction at all. It's just, it's how it happens sometimes, you know? I don't know how to, um, sometimes I'm like, okay, so how am I going to glue that on where it doesn't just leave a lot of glue everywhere because it's, it is so, um, there's a lot of holes in it. So let me get a piece of um, paper towel and um, stick that on there. That is so, so, so pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. There. That is really pretty. That'll take a little time to dry. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Matter of fact, let's see if I have a word, a small word that I want to put in there. Just, um, I don't, these, these were printed whenever my ink was just about to go out, and, um, uh, <laughs> so it's not like what it's supposed to be, so I'll just cut out the word, because I'm okay with that, and... There, I'll put, or do I want a big one? I could put, those are so big. That's all I got. That is all I got, unless, unless, y'all look at my little short fingernails. Look at these little short fingernails of mine. I, I made these. These are um, words that I have in my Etsy store. I will try and link that down below. I, um, joyful. We're going to put that on there. Okay. I have an Etsy listing. I don't, I've only have, I only have one thing. Whoa, y'all. I only have one thing because, uh, it's, it's my first time to, um, make anything for that. And, um, I think I have a video where I showed it all. I'll try to link it down below. Um, but, um, go check out my Etsy store. All right, so I'm going to put that Joyful up here. I think I'll just use some, um, what do you call it? Art glitter glue. Put that right there. Joyful. Then I'll put this right there. Then I'll put a butterfly on top of that, and we'll call it a day. But I, I just, you know, wanted to share with you some butterfly stuff. I just basically wanted to share some butterfly stuff. I don't know. Those are way too big. Way too big. Oh, that is so pretty. Is it pretty? Do you like it? I like it. I want this size on there. I'm going to ink it up, uh, get some of those white edges covered because I don't want all that white to be showing. 
That's just how I roll. Okay. All right, so let me get a little bit of this Fabri-Tac and put down here like that. A little bit on the butterfly. It'll take a little time for that to dry because Fabri-Tac takes a while. There we go. I love that. That turned out cute. So anyway, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to do. We're going to call it a day, but I just wanted you to see how I cut out some butterflies with using punches. You just, you know, get your bigger punch and the bigger butterfly and cut it away. And then you'll end up with a, a batch of butterflies like crazy. So if you have those punches, great. I don't know what Stampin' Up! has still. But it was just my little, I love um, cutting out butterflies and stuff. I love it. So there's that. And that is so pretty. That is so pretty. I think I want a little, um, do I want a bling on there or no? I think I'm going to leave it just like that. And if I decide later to add some, um, bling bling to it i'll add a little piece um right here on the butterfly but i don't know if I, I will or not but there's that oh man you know what i should do let me get um what did i do wait 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 don't go away yet um just real quick i already threw it away just real quick here's the little butterfly that I cut out, okay? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it since I got everything on the front. But you use it as a stencil, and um, I'm gonna put it on the back. And you can, you can write over that. You can still write over that. That is so cute. And I will do one down here and that way you've still got your um there you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this because i don't want it to look like i hit that on purpose <laughs> okay there i need to hit the back of this butterfly's wing and that will dry there but it's really wet, so I can't move it too much because it's not dry yet. But there you go. There's a little, I don't know, a cluster, a little something, something to put in your journal. There's uh, places to write on the back of it. And that is so cute. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, have a great, wonderful day. And um, give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. And like and share all the goodies. Help me get my video um, uh, subscribers up. Be sure and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And um, I'm trying to get a 1,000 people on my subscription. So, y'all, I am halfway there. So, help me get there. I appreciate it so much. I hope you enjoyed. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye.